Well, Paul, what's in this box? Well, we'll start with that. That is an amplifier that I got off of eBay. I kind of have a weakness for little tube amps, and I've been wanting a 30s record, a 30s simple amplifier like you'd put in a record player. This one has the pillar base tubes. There's your rectifier. A number 41 output tube, which is fairly common. And this is an odd tube. It's a 79. It's a double triode with one grid connected to a grid cap. I don't know what this came out of or what it was used for. Uh, it's transformer powered. It has some sort of input connector there. Uh, no apparent speaker output as where, we would know it. Where's the grid cap connector? Right there. I know where's the wire that goes. I don't know where it went. Oh. See, we don't know. Don't know where it went. It has a power cord and a power switch. And these are actually what was used as uh, tip cord sockets in the old days for headphones. You take a plug with a little metal tip on the end, like a shoelace, and that's where you plug in your headphones. Well, this is wired. Uh, regular amplifier, volume control. This should be an 8 ohm output transformer. Goes to the plate of the 41, goes to B+, plus, but there's no secondary on it. It's just a choke. Coming off the plate right there is a pair of 0.22 microfarad 600 volt capacitors. And they go to that connector, that headphone connector, one pin grounded, one pin to a cap, and the other capacitor goes to one of these wires and to ground. This would have powered two 500 to 1000 ohm headphones or cantilever speakers which predated uh, loudspeakers as we know them. Now this right here I'm not familiar with. Oh, that's a good thing. You've got good eyes. This is another strange thing. These are, are called bias cells, and they are actually electrets, which is a semi-permanently charged device. It provides uh, a voltage difference, but no current, and they hold that charge almost forever. It's basically a piece of rubber that's been polarized, and is put in this little cup, and there's a contact, and this is used to provide bias to some circuits when there's no negative voltage readily available. They used them in the 30s a lot. This has two of them. Don't know why. I haven't, I haven't schematicized this yet. It's a simple amplifier, basically, but designed to drive two 20s era speakers. And I do not know what it was made for or what it came out of. Well, there's a pot mm -hmm. in it. That's the volume control. That's wired at the volume control. Mm -hmm. Uh, play to that tube, volume control, this goes to the grid, that goes to ground. It's a very straightforward little amp. Now, one of the interesting things is the power supply is half wave with four and six microfarad filter caps, which means, and, and no filter choke, which means this sucker hummed. But if you're feeding cantilever speakers or headphones, they didn't go that low. So hum wasn't an issue. I just don't know what it was made for. So obviously Zenith made it. The tubes say Zenith. The caps say Zenith. Not another number on it. But there's a story there someplace. It must have come out of something. But you can see there was something bolted on there. And there's mounting holes on the side. I thought it might be out of a, a projector or maybe a photo phone pickup. But that doesn't seem to fit. So I don't know. For ten bucks, I had to have it. Well, this is a mystery. We'll ask everybody on YouTube, yeah. and everybody on YouTube, we sure appreciate you watching. And if you have anything to say, please make a comment below. Yeah. I guess this is another tech talk. That's a good one. Okay. <laughs>